How are you doing today? Good? Great. So another half-life question. Four ounces of a radioactive substance were stored in your car's glove compartment by a strange person to whom you gave a ride to school. After 12 weeks, only three ounces of the same substance were left. What is its half-life? So the half-life will be represented by this T over here, which I'll call big T. The little T on top will be just time, so it'll be the 12. So big T is what we want to solve for and essentially isolate. So A0 here, that's the initial quantity, or A0, and uh, that was 4 ounces. Later, you only have 3 ounces left. So you have 3 equals 4 times half to the power of 12 over big T. Great. Now, we want to solve for big T. My first step here will be to divide both sides by 4. So I get 3 quarters, so 0 0.75 equals half to the power of 12 over big T. Now, what can we do to solve for this? Well, we're going to have to log both sides of the equation. I'm going to take the log of 0 0.75, and it's going to be the, equal to the log of 0 0.5 to the power of 12 over big T. And why am I doing this? Because that's the only way to bring down the exponent here so we can solve properly for big T. And that's a property of logarithms. So since you have an exponent here, it's 0.5 to the power of 12 over big T, it can actually bring this down and multiply by the log. So I have log of 0.75, which is the 3 over 4, right? equals 12 over t times the log of half. Then, of course, I want to isolate for this. I want to solve for t. So I will multiply both sides of the equation by t. They cancel out over here, so I have t times the log of 0.75 equals 12 log half. Then I shall divide both sides of the equation by log 0.75. They cancel out over here, so I get t equals 12 log half over log 3 quarters. Now I can plug this into the calculator. So give me a second here. So 12 times the log of half over the log of 3 quarters. And I get 28.91 as the answer. Approximately 28.91. So the half-life of the substance is around 28.9 weeks. Okay? And that's it.